Well, we're on a group hunt today. We got it's around like six people or something like that. So we're gonna go see him. We got Josh. <laughs> oh, he's using his uh, GTP. Melissa. Running the brand new AT Max. We did meet at a conference. Rick, using his Pro and his V3i. We got Doug. How's it going, Doug? You're nuts. It's going awesome. Using Finding the Pro. My Fugio. <laughs> we got Brandon. Haven't seen him in a while. Using his uh, Fish F75. Fisher F75. And we got a new guy here. Jim. Jim. With the Treasure Pro. I've been using this for. Good to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Using the Treasure Pro, so we're gonna see what we get. Go save some history and have a good time. Sure. Let's What's get up, at man? it. Back there. It could be. Was, could be. With my friends. Oh, Valentine is that Valentine? <laughs> Got my uh, culture aluminum bazinga of the day. Well, we got Rick with his uh, culture of the day. We think it could be a state militia button of some sort, but I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Sweet, man. All right. Good find. Yeah, thanks. Let's keep going. 1910 wheat penny. Nothing special. Nope. But it was reading to 46 and it would jump to 67 and 80, so, yeah. you know, there's just, got to dig all them trash signals. Some activity in this oh, Josh. Josh, we left your stuff over there. Well, it's been a long time since our last clip. Been working all day, and not much has been found, but uh, just meeting back up. Been working all day. We believe this is a silver button. Uh, yeah, definitely silver. Good job, Jimmy. Did you get that over here? No, back up there in the uh, That is awesome. The field where nobody wanted to play. Probably, uh... So we're at this new place. There's, cellar, there's uh, stone walls everywhere. And we're out with Brandon. He's a new guy we're going digging with, and we're also out with Rhode Island Relic. He's using the Nope Impact. Got a good signal. I called an Indian, and I called it right. Let's check it out. Pretty little Indian. The front's kind of toasted, but uh, we can definitely get a date off of that. Yeah. Good job, dude. Thank That's you. awesome. So we got out to the field. Nathan's using his uh, CTX, 17 inch. You got Brandon over here using his uh, Nokta Impact stock. Scoville. Oh, Back dude. Mark. He's got a button out of here. He got a button out of the farm. 
How was it ringing? In the 60s. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Yeah, ringing up nice. Man, you're killing it today. Yeah, so far, so good. Yeah. Let's go dig some more holes. Let's get some gold coins. <laughs> oh, the wind out here is killing me already. Let's get at it. I'm happy. Not silver, not copper, not a coin. It's a relic. I love relics. Relics make me so happy. Nathan's right there behind me. Got a solid, solid signal. 68 every time, like four or five inches. Got something good. Let's check it out together. Right down there. Whew. Beautiful suspender clip. Beautiful suspender clip. I'm gonna cry if that breaks in my pocket. I really will. We'll uh, take that home, brush it up. I don't know where my brush went. I actually lost my brush again, so. Can't brush it here on the field and see if there's anything on it, but we can see the basics of it, so. Great find. Already killing it today. I'll come here on a day all by myself. Come in this field for two, three hours, not get a single thing. We already had uh, Brandon pop out a button, and I just popped out a suspender clip, so. Nathan, you're up. Find something good. <laughs> he's sw he's swinging the 30 30 with the 17 inch or so that thing that thing's heavy let's get back at it oh my god oh my god dude so i dug right here suspender clip right here was a light bulb piece and right there is a big copper and it's not a uh, large set. It is older because it not only did it read a 71 AT Pro, this thing's huge. And I lost it. I don't even know what I did with it, dude. I saw it and I just like, uh oh. Gotta. All right, so, oh, there it is. Nice. All right, we'll look at this together then. I think I just got my first stator. <laughs> hey, get back with my copper. <laughs> I heard about you and your thieving coppers. <laughs> oh, it's toasted. It's gonna be tough. Oh, it is. It's gonna be tough oh, to figure shoot. out what it is. I know it's. It's. I know it's not American. No, once you. Well, it might be. You no, know. because it was reading a seventy-one. Nice. Oh, I see a bus. What do you got over there? You taking a picture or something? <laughs> Let's go check this out. So uh, after a little bit of cleaning, I'm still shaking. I'm so excited. I did not expect that to be a copper at all. It was a solid 71. And I mean, it was only right there. It was not deep at all. And the storm coil, of course, slammed on it every time. But uh, it's a KG. Bust is facing. You can kind of see it right there. Bust is facing left. Can, I can only see the line in the four digits, but I can't read them at the moment. But yeah, so that's KG Copper right there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, baby. Right next to a suspender buckle, a suspender clip, a light bulb piece, and a copper. I'm sticking right here. I'm so happy. Wow, I did not expect that. Going home with a kappa. <laughs> back to back to back. I love farms. <clears throat> So, right there I dug the KG, the light bulb. Then right here, I dug that suspender clip. Four feet away, it's either another one that's all smushed up, or it's the top of a one. That's pretty cool, man. About like four or five inches down, next to this tree. Why has nobody touched this area? I don't know. We have all this farm field, and there's this one tree in the middle you would think everybody would flock to. Clearly not, because I'm pulling up a ton of stuff, including a copper. So let's get back at it. This is great. What's up, everybody? Just got the mail. Package. Let's open it together. This one's coming from David Perdue.
Purdue box, baby. Thank you, David Purdue. I am very excited about this. Got all these little spots for uh, the relics. It's all soft. Store your relics right down in there. Got all these compartments. So I can butt bank the guys and hide stuff from them. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, look at that stuff. Much more room than my old box. Should be right down here. Gonna have to put some camo on this one. This one's too clean. Let's see if we can get in. There it is. There's an old tackle box I cut up and everything. Put some of that foam stuff in there. But everything just flopped around and I didn't like that. So we're gonna put some camo on this one. And I would like to just thank David Purdue, man. Thanks, buddy.